Tragic lottery winner pocketed 12.5 million pounds, but died skint after brother hired hitman. William Bud Post III won $16.2 million in the Pennsylvania State Lottery in 1988, but his life was anything but a dream as he was left bankrupt and estranged from his family. Though he initially dreamed of an easy life, one lottery-winning millionaire unfortunately found himself bankrupt and was even the target of a hired killer arranged by his own brother. William Bud Post III, age 66, won $16.2 million, 12.7 million pounds, but found himself in the midst of divorce dramas and a fallout with his family in the years after his big win. Born in Erie, Pennsylvania, Bud had a troubled childhood. After losing his mother at just eight years old, he was sent to an orphanage by his father. He led a simple life taking up odd jobs and never owned a new car or a home. However, Fate turned around in 1988 when he only had $2.46 left in his bank account. There's lots of quality news coming out of the U.S. In a desperate move, he pawned off one of his remaining belongings, a ring, for $1.40. He then gave this money to Ann Karpik, his landlord and sometimes girlfriend, to purchase 40 lottery tickets, reports the mirror. And among those tickets was the lucky winner. A mere fortnight after getting the first installment of his win, a yearly payment of $497,953.47 for 26 years, he had already splashed out $300,000. He invested in his siblings, setting them up in a variety of ventures such as a Florida eatery and a used car business. He also splurged on a plane despite not having a pilot's license. But sadly, within three months, Bud found himself $500,000 in debt. In less than a year, he was estranged from his family. He later splashed out $395,000 on a mansion in Oil City, Pennsylvania, with grand plans to spruce it up. But things went pear-shaped. Legal woes piled up, including a county court slapping him with an order to steer clear of his sixth wife after he took a pot shot at her motor. Then his ex-landlady turned lover dragged him to court for a slice of the jackpot, claiming they'd promised to go halves. Mr. Post put up a fight, but three years down the line, a judge decreed he owed her one-third of the cash. By that point, though, he was practically skint. He couldn't stump up the cash, and in 1992, a judge slammed the brakes on his lottery money. Everybody dreams of winning money, but nobody realizes the nightmares that come out of the woodwork or the problems, he lamented in 1993. A peek inside his oil city pad revealed a swimming pool brimming with debris, windows boarded up, and a knackered security system. He once said, I was much happier when I was broke. By 1996, he'd had enough and tried flogging the rest of his lottery winnings and the mansion to settle his debts. He confided to the Guardian, once I'm no longer a lottery winner, people will leave me alone. That's all I want, just peace of mind. But he still couldn't curb his lavish spending, blowing through his savings on two houses, a truck, a pair of Harleys, and a sailboat. His sibling even attempted to hire a hitman to assassinate him and his sixth spouse. The attempt did not succeed, and Post's brother was arrested. After resolving his numerous legal issues, he was left with $1M, which he promptly squandered. He spent time behind bars for an assault conviction after firing at a debt collector who visited his dilapidated mansion. Upon his release, it's reported that he was surviving on food stamps and a meager dollar 450 per month disability allowance. He passed away age 66 from respiratory disease on January 15, 2006. He was survived by his seventh wife and nine children from his second marriage. Start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.